During her second pregnancy, Beth Meese got stunning news. Tests revealed that she and her husband carry genes that can cause cystic fibrosis. I certainly did not expect at all to be a carrier. I mean, Julia was perfectly fine. Further testing showed the baby does not have the disease. But the Cleveland couple calls their experience eye-opening and now want to encourage couples to have testing before pregnancy so they're aware of their risk. The numbers, really, if you start to look at them, you think to yourself, well, nobody ever gets this because it's just so rare that two people would be carriers and those two people would get together and have children. But the issue has sparked controversy. Overall, genetic testing is very, very helpful. It allows people to make informed decisions about whether or not they want to take a pregnancy to term. Genetic testing pushes hot button issues, abortion and embryo destruction, and some fear it could lead to selective breeding. Ethically, it's easier to justify using genetic testing for reproductive choices when the conditions are serious, when they're lethal, when they involve a lot of suffering for any fetus or baby that would result. But the director of the University of Pennsylvania's Center for Bioethics says the decision ultimately has to be made by the expectant parent. A lot of people oppose terminating pregnancies. They're anti-abortion and don't think any uh, fact would justify doing that. Statistics for inherited diseases are hard to come by, yet there's little doubt that testing has put a dent in many. The number of babies born with cystic fibrosis, Tay-Sachs, and other less familiar disorders have recently dropped. As for the Mises, the couple say they decided to have the baby regardless of what its tests showed. But they will not risk having a third child. At this point in time, I don't think we're going to have any more kids. Beth Meese is due the first week of May. The couple's two-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Julia, is excited and ready to take on her role as big sister. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.